one. Blood Curse, Season 1, Episode 3, Thoughts. This episode is called Retribution, or Ganjaran Masa Lalu. So, another episode I love. Spoilers for these first three episodes. The top link in the description box will enable you to donate to the Psych After Strikers. And then there's some links to videos to help explain why this is such an important strike. So, let's dive into the episode. So, yeah, they take Wulan's father to, <coughs> to the hospital and he pukes out blood and a bug so yeah very very creepy nasty and yeah we get a flashback to two weeks before the wedding and you know Wulan's a million miles away and in the foreground we see this like little child refuse to eat and be very difficult and yeah it is very clear that Wulan does not want to have to deal with, you know, having a child of her own and that child being difficult. That's not what she envisions for herself. And that is, you know, there are a number of young women today who do not want to have children, at least when they are still young. They, you know, some of them do have children a little later in, in life. But, yeah. You know, again, very, very progressive of the show to have a sympathetic portrayal of someone who, you know, the the conservative notion all over the world is that women have to have children. It's their responsibility. And to, to lighten the mood, Wulan's father says, you know, oh, it's not such a big deal. You know, it was the anniversary. I got excited. I was planning on fooling around with this angel here, and everyone's embarrassed. It's just, yeah. Dad jokes are, you know, global. And, yeah. And, and you know, they're ordering food, and then it cuts to the, the rotting animal head. And, you know, I, I want to say it's Essa, like, burns it. And, yeah, you know, even though he's in the hospital and could get caught and, I mean, I, I presume it would be reported. I know that they certainly have to in hospitals here in the West. I could imagine it's the same in Indonesia, especially based on Wulan's reaction. You know, he could get in a lot of trouble by taking drugs in a hospital. You know, when, when he does it at home, you know, who's going to... Who's going to call the cops on him? But, yeah, you know, there's a... Um, again, at least here in the West, I don't know for sure about Indonesia, but there is a... You know, it's considered a responsibility of, for example, hospital staff uh, to, to report illegal drug use. Uh, you know, and, yeah, it's, it's clear at this point he is addicted. He, he legitimately can't not take these these pills and that is something you know I really appreciate that they made it clear it started out as him just trying to get through the thing you know it's not like he woke up one day and like I want to shoot up you know no he it started you know he took the pills so he could take his tests you know in America a lot of people who end up you know, really addicted, they, it started with them being prescribed painkillers by a doctor who didn't care if they ended up addicted and prescribed something much too powerful for them to be able to, to handle without it becoming an addiction. And Reno calls Wulan and doesn't say anything. She can just hear him breathing. And we get a flashback and, yeah, he's clearly very excited about the wedding. You know, it's going to be the biggest wedding in town, and it'll be the talk of the town. And she calls it off, and, you know, at first he thinks that she's joking. And then he demands to know why. You know, and, and says, you can't call off the wedding so close to the... You know, and, and yeah, like, it's made clear, like, outright... He's he's kind of intimidating her, you know, raising his voice at her and, 
you know, at, at one point he like snaps his finger and says, look at me, you know, it's, so, so yeah, very like toxic ex, although at this point not quite, I, are they exes before he accepts that they're exes? Anyway, you know, kind of behavior, I really appreciate that the show is doing so much to make it clear Wulan's not the bad guy here, you know, obviously nobody likes being broken up with, but he, you know, if you love the person, you know, you should do what you can to take it well, go easy on them. You know, there are so many stories where a woman breaking up with a man is positioned as, like, she's taking something away from him, she's doing this purely out of cruelty kind of thing, when, like, the reality is, you know, sometimes, you know, people grow apart, there's a lot of reasons that relationships end that have nothing to do with like one of the people being like a bad person doing something to hurt the other and yeah and and you know Wulan directly asks her mother you know was it unforgivable to call off the wedding and you know she says it was a very humane decision there are consequences but you know, at least you don't have to, you're not trapped in an unhappy marriage, you know. Really appreciate, I wouldn't have minded if it happened a little earlier in the show, but I really appreciate that it is made clear Wulan's mother does not think that Wulan is a bad person for breaking up the wedding, which, again, a lot of people have been treated really badly for breaking up, you know, for, for calling off a wedding, that kind of thing, especially women including by, for example, their, their mother and father. So, you know, by this point it's clear neither of them blame her. And... Yeah, uh, Essa is doing some investigating and finds uh, some, some paper clips talking about the, the massacre that we also heard about. I want to say it was the very first episode, you know, it was like on TV, and I think it was Wulan, like, changed the channel. I forget if I called it out at the time, but that is classic kind of, you know, if right now you think that it's not, you know, this is, oh, you know, that has nothing to do with me, and you're going to learn it definitely has something to do with you kind of thing. And he finds a camera and checks what's what's on it, which is, of course, classic kind of mystery solving trope love to see it and i really love the the use of cinema shorthand like he he you know he puts the tape in starts playing and as it plays on his tv he gets out his smartphone and films some and we only see him film for like two seconds or so then it cuts but later it's made clear yeah, yeah he filmed the entire thing you know he now has the the entire or the, or the very least, he filmed everything he thought was relevant. So he would have it on his smartphone so he could bring... Because, you know, what is he going to do? Lug the, the TV and camera around? No, he's... You know, but, yeah, very, very clever. And, you know, he calls the, the company and gets the, the name of the, the hospital so that he can go talk to Wulan about their father's and the investment guy is playing golf in his office. So that is also, that also happens everywhere in the world with these kind of investment types. See, that clip, like if I just told you, so I watched a, a TV show and this investment guy was playing golf in his office, you know, you might think, oh, so it's like an American thing, you know, but nope, Indonesia apparently also has... And that that sort of thing, and they talk about the the beliefs of the the client and how like she you know she doesn't like she, what was it like a bad wind from the north or something. I f it was a little weird to me that I mean we already heard because she said you know I can sense your aura. She said that to Wulan like last episode, so I'm not entirely sure why Wulan is surprised, but you know. Not a big deal. And let's see. Yeah, 
you know, clearly Wulan's brother wants a hit even after she said you can't do this in a hospital. And Wulan's father starts coughing, you know, to, right, and at this point I know, you know, great makeup on the, the actor playing the brother. He really does look like, I mean, it is basically, ah, crap. See, we call them abstinenza in Denmark which, like, the direct translation is abstinence, and that's not, you know, abstinence is, like, if you, if you try to, if that's a form of birth control that almost never works, um, crap, what do they call in English? Um, with, withdrawal symptoms, he's having withdrawal symptoms, and, yeah, you know, his, his face is much paler, and there's a little bit of a sweat there, and, and, like, his eyes, you know, very nicely done. It, it it's completely different from what it was in like episode one, for example, you know. But yeah, it's it's getting worse and worse, and then we see his father cough up, or, or yeah, spit out blood and nails, and just yeah, really, and yeah, he's like trying to pull it out of his mouth with his fingers, just oh, really, really nasty. I love it. And, yeah, Wulan's brother rings up, you know, maybe Dad's cursed. When she's still not, she still doesn't want to hear it. Very classic, sort of modern take on supernatural horror, where you have at least one character who's like the skeptic, and they're not going to believe it until they see, you know, eventually they'll accept that it's true kind of thing, which, you know, I don't believe in the supernatural in real life, but... I can appreciate the value of having a character who's skeptic realize that they are, you know, actually, what's the word, um, that, that the supernatural is real. I, this is a show that already, in these three episodes, there's a lot of really horrifying stuff. I think the stomach moving might be the single mo although I mean the bug in the eye in the first episode okay that's still number one numero uno but I believe we found our second place just the you know you the stomach is supposed to be like flat and it's all like gnarly and just ugh, just and and you know we see later yeah because there's like a bunch of wasps down there and they're like flying against the the lining of the stomach just really really nice and great makeup on him or or i guess it's possible that it's just he he really worked up you know in in some of the takes but his face is like completely red like not like ridiculously so but like from from the intensity you know so just yeah very nicely done and yeah Essa and Wulan meet, he shows some video evidence, but does make the mistake of coming off very accusatory, which she's, of course, not a fan of. And I, I appreciate the little touches that, like, I, I figure it's probably, it's going to be difficult for her to trust him, and one of the things they do to accomplish that, to, to help set that up, is that right after, you know, he's he's like, okay, that's you know, the daughter, so he approaches her, and he starts by just saying, miss, and when she does, you know, a couple of seconds, she doesn't really respond, and so he, like, puts his hand on, like, her, her arm, or something like that, you know, and it's in a, it's this sort of thing of, like, you know, just trying to get someone else's attention, it's not, like, he doesn't, like, grab her and hold her, but it's just, you know, oh, she didn't hear me, so he puts it, you know, and that's really not something she wants from a complete stranger, especially now with her father in the hospital and she's very worried. So that's going to, you know, that's going to be difficult for her to, to forgive. And I, I would be very, I would be shocked if at some point in the season we don't have the two of them working together to figure out what's going on and, and stop it. But this is something that's going to make that more difficult and let's see yeah and and we see the the brother in the uh, you know in the bathroom and he takes he takes another pill so this is you know it hasn't been that many hours and he's taking more 
because that's you know that's what happens with drug addiction you know it, it keeps getting worse until you're you're able to to stop it and and you know do rehab and and make it better but yeah he he needs more frequent hits now and we have the the one bug and he's like wow that's and he walks towards the camera and just as soon as he's passed we see just this massive swarm behind him very very creepy and it's again one of those things you know when they have that many bugs in the show at, at once it's not 100 percent convincing cg but you know i can appreciate you know it is very very creepy you know i do, I do prefer the the stuff they do with with like bladders and, and other practical effects and yeah, they they you know the doctors check inside the the stomach of of Wulan's father, and there's just a a ton of bugs in there, just ugh, really really gross. And then he like they all come out his mouth, and he collapses, dying. Which I don't love that this is very similar to the end of the first episode. You know, there it was Essa's father, now it's Wulan's. You know, I I hope that in following episodes we will have a little bit more variety. So far, episodes two and three, I didn't... Okay, ep... no, yeah, yeah, episode two also, um, yeah. Maybe not as much episode two. But episodes one and three, I felt like were a little too similar. I don't know. I don't know about Indonesian TV, so I don't know if this is one of those things where okay, we gotta have ten episodes, and the writers are like, okay, uh, I have some ideas, you know, but it's not really what they want to do. So there's some filler episodes, but yeah, I am very excited to see what next, as Reno says, and yeah. The the um, he is the one behind, or at least one of the people behind it. Uh, you know, working with this this guy that's making it happen, or at least part of making it happen. The the curse stuff, and yeah, you know, some people get really, you know, yeah, do some really awful things if someone breaks up with them, for example. And I guess that means that the times he's called was like, maybe that was part of the, like, because I know that some, like, there's some uh, supernatural ideas where you, oh, you have to, like, have the, some, some hair from the person that you're, you're doing a curse on. Maybe him hearing her voice is part of it or yeah i don't know um but yeah another really really great episode my my really my only issue is that i don't think it needed to be quite as similar we've seen two dads die in three episodes which but i really appreciate you know the the it's now clear that essa there is a connection between Essa's father and Wulan's father, they, you know, we knew that there was, or I suppose, the fact that Essa is now aware of that and has met Wulan, you know, that's new. Uh, but but yeah, the the um, yeah, in in episode one, I think there was uh, there were some indications that. Uh, Essa's father and Wulan's father knew each other and worked together and, and such. But, yeah, the characters have, have come to realize that. And there was also the massive reveal that Reno is at least part of what's going on. So, yeah, really excited to see what happens next. My next video will probably be in eight days. So, yeah. Uh, until then... I am probably going to check the next time I head into a, a bathroom. Probably going to make absolutely 100% sure that there is not a massive swarm of bugs right behind me.